My name is Patricia Camargo Solorzano. Below, I will present a summary of the research that we are currently developing. Our work team is made up of Dr. Maria Isabel Soares and Dr. Maria Teresa Pinho e Melo of the University of Coimbra, Coimbra, Portugal. Dr. Patricia Camargo Solorzano and Walter José Pelaez of the National University of Córdoba, Córdoba, Argentina. Our job title is Theoretical Study of Sulfur Dioxide Extrusion. Reaction for the production of diazofulvenes and its cycloaddition. Reaction with several polarophiles. Introduction. In recent years, the versatility of ASA and diazofulvenium methodes systems has been demonstrated as building blocks for the synthesis of stable heterocyclic compounds and macrocycles with potential use in various biomedical applications. Diazofulvenium methodes are generated from pyrazolotiazoles, like 1 or 2, and from thiazolo, indazoles like 3, by thermal extrusion of sulfur dioxide. The diazofulvenium methodes unsubstituted at carbon 7 participate in 8 pi plus 2 pi cycloadditions, giving pyrazolopyridine derivatives like 4 in figure 2. In the absence of dipolarophiles, dimethyldiazofulvenium methodes 2 apostrophe and dimethylbenzodiazofulvenium methodes 3 apostrophe or undergo intramolecular sigma tropic 18H shifts, giving vinyl pyrazoles 5 and vinyl indazoles 6. The dimethylbenzodiazofulvanium methodes 3 apostrophe 3 apostrophe show cycloaddition 1 tree with malimides to form indazole derivates 7. Although the chemistry of diazofulvenium methodes 1 apostrophe to 3 apostrophe has been known for some years, there are no reports about the thermodynamic parameters that characterize the sulfur dioxide extrusion reaction from the pyrazolothiazoles and thiazoloindazoles derivatives. No information has been described on how the different substituents affect the stability of the diazofulvine formed and, consequently, the distribution of the products obtained. For this reason, here we propose carry out a theoretical study of the thermodynamic parameters of the sulfur dioxide extrusion process for two derivatives of pyrazolothiazoles and one derivative of thiazoloindazole. Observe the influence of the reactant's substituents on the stability of the diazafulvene intermediate formed. Describe as the substituents of the diazafulvene intermediates affect the cycloaddition reactions with different dipolarophiles by means of the evaluation of homodipole and lumodipolarophile energies. The value of de delta G energy for the extrusion reaction of molecules 1 to 3 was examined by quantum chemical calculations and is presented in Table 1. Similar energy values were found for the extrusion reaction of pyrazolothiazole derivatives 1 and 2, but thiazoloindazole derivative 3 showed a decrease of 20 kJ per mole in the delta G value. This could be due to the presence of an aromatic ring in the molecule 3, which favours the stability of the dipole intermediate 3 apostrophe formed. To be able to rationalise the different chemical behaviour of diazofulvenium, methodes 1 to 2 and benzodiazofulvenium methodes 3 toward dipolarophiles, DIPO1 to DIPO4. Frontier molecular orbital analysis was carried out as shown in Figure 4. Theoretically, it was found that energy gaps between the homodipole and lumodipolarophile orbitals are similar in all cases for one apostrophe and two apostrophe. However, according to the experimental results reported, only diazofulvene 1 apostrophe forms cycloaddition products with the dipo 1 and dipo 3. Although one apostrophe presents homo energy values similar to two apostrophe, the absence of cycloaddition products for two apostrophe in front of these same dipolarophiles may be due to steric hindrance caused by the two methyl groups present at carbon 7 of the dipole 2 apostrophe. 
The three apostrophe dipole presents the lowest energy gaps between homodipole and lumodipolarophile, with the dipolarophiles dipo1 and dipo2, which is consistent with the experimental data that reports cycloaddition products with these dipolarophiles. There are no experimental reports of the reaction of 3 apostrophe with the acetylenes dipo3 or dipo4, but it has been reported that this benzodiazer fulvenium methides does not form cycloaddition products with bis trimethylsilyl acetylene under thermolysis conditions. Conclusions The thermodynamic parameters of sulphur dioxide extrusion are presented for the first time in a theoretical form, obtaining higher delta G energy values for the pyrazolo-thiazole derivatives 1 and 2. This could be due to the presence of an aromatic ring in 3 that would favour the stabilisation of the transition state that generates diazofulvene 3 apostrophe. Dipoles 1 apostrophe and 2 apostrophe have very similar homodipole lumo dipolarophile energy gaps. However, diazofulvene 1 apostrophe forms cycloaddition products with conventional dipolarophiles while dipole 2 apostrophe does not present cycloaddition reaction products. This may be due to the presence of two methyl groups on carbon 7 of dipole 2 apostrophe, which, due to steric hindrance, would not allow the formation of the 8P plus 2P cyclo adduct. The extension of the results presented in this theoretical study leads to predictive approaches that optimise the design and reduce costs in synthetic exploration by pyrolysis of new heterocyclic compounds with biomedical and technological applications. Acknowledgements. This work was supported by Universidad Nacional de Córdoba UNC, Consejo Nacional de Investigaciones Científicas y Técnicas CONICET and Secretaria de Ciencia y Tecnología de Córdoba CSET.